This is Artemis Launch Control with an update. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub for today. Again, Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub of the attempt of the launch of Artemis 1 and the space launch system with the Orion spacecraft. The issue that uh, came up was an engine bleed that uh, couldn't be remedied, um, but uh, the rocket is currently in a stable configuration. It was uh, mostly tanked, but not completely tanked. Engineers are now working on a plan to uh, continue gathering data about this particular engine and the bleed that uh, didn't work out. The rocket, uh, the, the hydrogen bleed rather was a goal of the previous wet dress rehearsal uh, that didn't happen due to a hydrogen leak. So uh, engineers are, are focused on gathering as much data as they can at this time. So they have not gone to um, to draining the rocket just yet. They're going to keep it in its current configuration and uh, gather that data. To summarize, uh, we held at uh, T minus 40 minutes and counting after the team was unable to get um, past uh, engine bleed that uh, didn't show the right temperature once they got into the engine bleed test. And ultimately, uh, the launch director has called a scrub for the day. The earliest opportunity, depending on what happens with this engine bleed, would be September 2nd. That is available to the launch team. However, we will await a determination of what the plan is to go forward to remedy the engine bleed and then go from there. Again, an availability to launch, the next availability to launch is 12.48 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, September 2nd. But we must uh, wait to see uh, what shakes out from their test data that they're currently gathering now and uh, the decision that's made by the launch team about where to go from here. We appreciate you watching NASA TV and our coverage of the Artemis 1 launch attempt. This is Gerald Nail with NASA Communications signing off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.